Wow, I uh, we're 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 just we're honored honored to have you here, uh, Mr. Falcon. It's can I call you Malt? Yeah, I prefer Mr. Falcon. Okay, all right, all right. I, I totally understand that, Mr. Falcon. Thank you so much for. Could could I get a little makeup? My head's kind of shiny. You know, I I I, I talked to him. You're coming through great. Okay, you, seriously, thanks. you look great. I, I'm just amazed. It's just a pleasure to have you here. Um, we have a certain set amount of questions. I hope that's okay that we can get the get them from you. Oh yeah, anything. Well, um, the first thing we usually ask somebody is what what is their favorite line from a book. I'm wondering if you could give us that. Uh, well, my favorite line from a book uh, is by this guy, uh, Hurwitz. Uh, I think it was the crime writer. It says, I woke up with IVs taped to my arms, a feeding tube shoved through my nose, and my tongue pushed against my teeth, dead and thick as a sock. I really appreciate that since I don't really have a tongue to say. I, I can understand that, but wow, what's, that's a powerful, powerful piece of writing. You, you obviously, I mean, you, you're, you're an, an icon in the, uh, in the mystery field. Are, are you a mystery reader? Oh, yeah. No, read all sorts of stuff. I like, uh, you know, Christy, uh, several of the authors that were here before me. I love them. Uh, you know, I, I wrote a screenplay because, you know, for a while there I was just like typecast. I, I only got to do the one film. Then, you know, once that was done, it's kind of like, you know, Adam West. I didn't get to do anything else since then. The original idea for the movie with um, um, Goldie Hawn and uh, Mel Gibson, uh, but on a wire. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did the initial draft. Of oh, that. Okay, yeah. wonderful. You know, because a lot of actors when they when they get typecast and don't work for a while, they 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 fall on hard times. Well, you know, uh, the nice part about me was uh, I was able to live off my jewels. I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask how the what it was like on the set. What it was like, you know, you, you're you're there. You're with some some of the heaviest hitters in Hollywood. What what was that like? Well, you know, I, I liked everybody, uh, Bogart especially, except for you know, every once in a while he'd he'd, he'd be smoking and he wouldn't watch where he put out his cigarette. It was kind of you know, being made out of rock. It didn't hurt that much. It's just it was a little bit messy. What about Sydney Green Street? I mean, you must have loved working oh, with him. Ah, Sydney Green Street, softest belly in the biz. I love sitting on his lap. Peter Laurie, on the other hand, a little too jittery for my tastes. I guess you had some brothers that were on the set. Mom always favored him, and what are you gonna say? You know, I was the one, unfortunately, who spent most of the time wrapped in the newspaper during the entire thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, he, he got more, a little more time than I did. So you're here with Stark Raving. Really appreciate you coming by. Oh, and great us a group time. of people. I love them. Another one of our questions that we like to ask uh, our visiting dignitaries, and, mm -hmm. and, and I, I just can't thank you enough for, 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 for landing here. If we were to take you and put you on a, on a desert island, you know, plenty of bird seed, but you could only take three books, what three books would you take? Yeah, and I couldn't fly off, right? Right. I think the three books that I would go with is... Uh, Probably the Thawing Bird, probably Birdman of Alcatraz, and then another favorite of mine, Everyone Poops. Is there any chance that we might be seeing some fiction from you? I mean, you've written your screenplay. Is there maybe something coming for Stark Raving from you? You know, I've been talking to Jeff, but he seems to think I need a little bit more work. So, you know, maybe in the future, just not in that initial grouping. Well, I can't thank you enough for coming by and visiting with us today. You're looking great for your age. I had a little work done, you know, touch up. It's a feather in your cap that you look as good as you do. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. You're really a kind, you know, swell guy.